All right, guys, just a quick update. I've added the second coil and the second setup, a bunch of diodes and some other stuff. And I want to show you just quickly what's going on. This is for the haters. So I'm just going to plug it in. You can see there's no hydrogen. Uh, there's meter one. It's hooked up to one coil. Meter two hooked up to the other coil. They're both hooked up to the, those meters are hooked up to the battery charger. So I'm just going to plug in the battery charger and take you with me. There's not a lot of hydrogen. I'm just showing, and hopefully it comes up good on the screen. Like you can see that that is producing hydrogen. I'm not sure if you can hear the coil ringing or not. So that's how much hydrogen we are producing and I'm going to show you the meters meter one meter two I don't think the camera is doing this justice it might be bad lighting but there's a substantial amount of hydrogen coming out of that thing for zero amps input I am not claiming free energy, I am just showing you how to create hydrogen extremely efficiently. So again, I've got two circuits hooked up now. Uh, it's a mess, I just wanted to see if it would work, but then I noticed that it was doing this, so I wanted to catch a video of it. Uh, before I add on the next circuit, I'm going to clean everything up and just try and lay it out so you can see exactly what's going on there's wires everywhere but uh, both uh, both meters I don't know if you can see back there they're both hooked into the positive side of the battery charger okay and that goes into both PWMs zero amps keep in mind it takes 0 0.02 just to turn on the PWMs. So, you know, there's that.